Welcome back to Newsmakers. We are with Alec Neal and Dean Peter Beck. Fluoride is uh, a pretty explosive word in Christchurch and it's been dropped on the mayoral race this week with Bob Parker accusing Jim <coughs> Anderton of essentially wanting to take whether to fluoridate our water or not out of the Christchurch equation and make it a parliamentary debate where Parliament would call the shots. Uh, interestingly, John Key came out in support of fluoride uh, in Christchurch yesterday, which will give uh, Jim a little bit of um, warm, fuzzy moral comfort, don't it? Where do we stand on fluoride, and do we get terribly confused between fluoride and chlorine when it comes to the taste of water, Alec? Mm. Yes, we do get confused, and yes, I have very strong views on it. Don't touch Christchurch water. We have the second best water in the world, Abion has got the best, and we have the second best, and yet idiots go to the supermarket and buy bottled yeah, water. Amazing, that yeah. absolutely amazes me. I'm hot on this issue. Don't let any mayor get his beady little mongrel fingers on my good water. <laughs> and uh, look, I'll bless it if I have to. But, well, uh, will you bless I'll it for me? <laughs> <laughs> keep your smits <laughs> off my water, whoever hey. the mayor is. Given our dental health care crisis, mm. in all seriousness, which is the issue which concerns Jim, do you think... We are deluding ourselves about the evils of fluoride. No, I just I, I agree with, with, with Alec, but I mean, I think the issue is about dental care, and we ain't very good at doing that properly. You know, we're not teaching our kids to brush their teeth the way they should do. Then we should be doing more, looking more at that. There's a whole lot raft of things but we could do. That's a parental do. responsibility. That, again, again, a parental and a, uh, is it, this is about advertising again there, with the sort of things that kids eat. Yes. All that stuff is in there, so why, why fluoride? fluoridate at the water. Mm. Um, though I have to say, I'm English, as you're probably yes, aware, yes. and when I came over here in 1981 and went to the dentist, he looked at my teeth, of which I have three fillings, saying, you must be English, because wow. your teeth are so good. And was that because we fluoridated the water when I was a kid? I don't think it was. But I think the dental care that we received at school and throughout was absolutely first rate. Well, so I, yeah. now, I'm not criticising our dental services here, but if we want to do something about our kids' teeth, which mm. and anyone else's teeth, uh, then I think there's an issue that's beyond fluoridating the water. There's yeah. something more about proper dental care. I did hear Jim Anderton say that it's interesting. Compared to England, uh, the natural compounds of fluoride okay. in New Zealand water are deficient yes. compared oh, to okay. England. Is that right? I didn't know yeah. that. Yeah. Mm. So maybe that's it. The fluoride Right, has saved your teeth, Peter. Yes. Could have done. <laughs> um, but I still want us to keep our, our Christchurch water. Unfluoridated. And a, unfluoridated. But there's mm. a broader issue about that, just keeping our Christchurch water pure, and there's another issue about that. Indeed. Of course. Yes, it, keep it pure full stop. Yes. Mm. Well, um, well, if any mayor wants to play with our water, um, then he has to answer to me. Indeed. Whoa. The Dalai Lama. Vote for him. Yes. 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 Absolutely. Like now, um, I don't want to spend a huge amount of time on this. Close up certainly have in the last few nights. Mm. Robin Brooke, his personal integrity would appear to be absolutely shredded after the revelations that have come this week. Of course, there was the groping incident in Fiji, and Robin Brooke said to TVNZ at the time, I've never done anything like this in my life before, I feel mortified, la la la. And out came the girlies from Christchurch with a mm. very different story. What on earth do we make of this, Alec? Well, first of all, it was uh, how many years ago? Uh, mm, 12, Twelve years mm. ago. Um, secondly, the person concerned was approached by the rugby union. Yep. I understand that money, um, there was uh, money. passed hands, mm. um, that that person seemed to be satisfied with the outcomes at that time. Yep. Um, it, it's a storm in a teacup. I have sympathy for Robin Brooks' family, particularly for his mm. wife and his mm. children. Yeah. It's the sort of publicity that can damage a marriage, uh, whether, mm. no matter what the situation. I've got 10 seconds. Yeah, I just, I mean, it's, it, it's, it's, I understand all that stuff at the same time, of course, yeah. when you are a celebrity, especially a sports celebrity, and all blacks have had enough of this stuff, really, and, mm. and league players. Um, well, you know, you've just got to behave. Exactly. And you've got to be a role model. The all whites don't do that. Indeed. Um, 30 seconds in total. They, well, not that we know of, anyway. Uh, 30 seconds in total for your Heroes and Villains of the Week. Very quick plugs. I don't have a villain, but I, can I have a, a personal hero as my son? Yes. He's a chef. Yes. He's just got um, a uh, review in Cuisine, and it is fabulous. Congratulations. So really fabulous. I'm so proud of him. He's got a cafe. He runs a cafe in Hastings. Yeah. And he's just doing so well. So a personal bouquet to James. I just oh. think great. If you don't mind me doing that. The glowing Fabulous. father. The glowing father, oh. that's right. <laughs> Alec, very well, quickly. Well, my bouquet goes to a, a Christchurch male resident who cut his teeth uh, in, in, in Omaru yeah. as an announcer. He's now back on ZB Radio, <laughs> and it's great to have a Christchurch uh, talkback radio station in the morning to Mike Yardley, yeah. 
my bouquet. Oh. Absolutely, I agree with that too. The Never glowing mind. host <laughs> with the glowing father. Thank you, Alex. Indeed. That's very charitable of you. And that is truly in the spirit of the Dalai Lama, don't you think? Um, to the pick of the week. We've got a lot of signs in Christchurch about the anti-cruising. We'll look at this for a welcome to a city sign. This is from Virginia. Would you feel safe going to the city? This is how they welcome you into their city in the States. With all of these speed camera signs all around it. Very, very unwelcoming, I would have thought. Um, last week's question on the poll, was Russell Norman unfairly manhandled by the Chinese government bodyguards? 41% of you said yes, 59% no. The prize winner, D. Stevens. This week's question, should all New Zealand water supplies be fluoridated, including the Coca-Cola on special at your local supermarket? Uh, yes or no, email newsmakers at ctv.co.nz. You can vote on the web or use the post. Do so and you'll be in to win the Starbucks and the Whitcalls goodies. Thank you very much to our panel. Have a good night. See you.